If you've been meaning to sort through all of your photos but you just haven't got the time or you don't want to spend money on new piece of software then this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to go through your photos very very quickly with a new piece of software that is absolutely free. What is happening people my name is Gaurav and I'm a travel and a wedding photographer based in Birmingham, England. In this video today I'm going to show you a brand new piece of software that's been released by Nikon the camera manufacturer. This software is absolutely free and it's available on Windows computers and Mac computers and it's very similar to Adobe Lightroom. So let's just have a look at it quickly. So the software I'm about to show you is called NX Studio. It's made by Nikon, the camera manufacturer, like I said, and you can just Google it, go onto the first link and you can select view download page from here and select which operating system you have. Either you have Windows or Mac OS and just go right to the bottom, accept that region Europe and download. Obviously, if your region is different, you can select something else. So that's to install the software. I'm not going to go through the installation process. I've already got it installed. And here it is. This is NX Studio. Just for demonstration purposes, I want to show you how quickly this software actually loads. So here we are at the bottom. I'm just going to click on it in three, two, one, go. That's it. There it is. It's loaded. And just for comparison, I'm going to load Adobe Lightroom. Still going, still going, there we go, I'm going to leave this open for a second just for comparison, minimize that. Uh, for this demonstration purposes what I've done is I've created a folder of uh, Billy, my cat's photos and I've put them on the desktop, here they are. Let's just open up NX Studio again and I'm going to go through a quick overview of NX Studio for those of you who aren't familiar with Adobe Lightroom. So on the left hand side here you can select where your images are stored. Mine is stored on the desktop and we can go to Billy. Here we go. Let's double click that and that's all my photos that I want to edit or sort through. Now at the bottom as you can see you have a strip of these photos that you can select different ones and edit them by the tools on the right hand side. And again, I'm not going to go in depth into these tools because this is not what this video is about. Let me just open Adobe Lightroom just for comparison. So this is Adobe Lightroom Classic and that is NX Studio. Let's just do that one more time. It's quite similar as you can see. So you can see all of your photos all at once. So there they are. You can see them in list view and you can see them just like you would in the develop tab in adobe lightroom classic i think this is probably the most popular one really because if you click on the photos you can see them in large preview so anyway let's get down to it how do i quickly go through these photos and select the best ones now there's a couple of ways you can actually do this but the best method i found to go through the photos is like this we're going to stick with this view so you can see the big previews of the photos that you intend to keep or reject and um, because if you're on something like this gallery view you can't really see you have to double click them and then go back so we're going to stick to this view now let's just start with the first photo of course you can either right click the photo you can go to rate and you can rate it by the star rating or you can choose the label and if you have a look at the side here, it actually tells you it's got a number at the side of each of these labels. So for example, red is one, orange is two, yellow is three, green is four and so on. So if I press these numbers on my keyboard, it will actually label these photos accordingly. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to quickly go through a lot of these photos because that is the aim of this video after all. So let's just stick, go for the first one. I quite like that. So I'm going to press one. Let's go to the next one. I don't like that, I'm gonna leave that alone. I do not like that, that's out of focus. Let's just move that out of the way. Quite like that. 
uh, between that and that so all i'm doing is i'm pressing number one on the photos i like and pressing the arrows on my keyboard back and forward to switch between the photos so i'm not going to select that i quite like that yeah go on one don't like that that's out of focus i really like that one and that one that one that one that one don't like that love that and you can see at the bottom here it's labeling all the photos that I've pressed one on so it's labeling them red so I think that should do for now let's just see how you group all these photos all together so for example all the ones that I've selected with the red marker let's see how we can put them all in one place let's just go back into the grid view here and you can see all these photos are all over the place and um, we want to put them all together you can actually go to the filter here filter images and select the red marker and look at that all the other ones disappear they're not deleted they're still on your hard drive but it's just filtered them down to the red marker we can turn it off and all of them will come back we can put them on and you can do that for a lot of the others so for example if you're unsure about some of the photos you can press 2 on there and just say press 2 on this one and we can still filter them down here to say if we want number 2 which is orange and we want red as well we can do both so you can see once you get into the swing of things how this can be a lot quicker than double clicking the photos to open it to see what photo it is and then dragging it to a different folder to save that photo it's not very convenient now okay so we've got our photos here how can we get our favorite photos and put them in a separate folder i'm going to show you how to do that as well let's just minimize that for a second and i'm going to create a new folder for example here let's call it billy new double click to open that there's a couple of things you can actually do what you can do is you can actually select all of these photos right click and copy them and you can paste them in a new folder here now that's just copied all your selected photos in a separate folder so they are still in this folder here so you still got a copied version like this one and this one they're exactly the same photos you still got that in the original version or what you can do is let's just delete them for a second you can actually Select all the photos that you want. You can drag and drop them in this folder. And what that's done, it's taken them out of this original folder and taken them across to this one. But only your selected photos, nothing else. I'm just gonna put that back. And there we go, they appear back in here again. Let me just show you that one more time gonna select all these photos I'm gonna press 0 on all of them let's just go to the image viewer so let's just go through some of these photos let's just let's let's go further down here let's try these ones quite like that I'm gonna press 1 press a forward arrow don't like that 1 mm, quite like that that one that one that one and guys if you want to edit these photos you can also edit them just because this is a free piece of software doesn't mean it's totally useless it's not i've used this software and it's pretty amazing for a free piece of kit so don't think you can only use it to sort through your photos it is a very powerful piece of kit let's just carry on with this we'll do a few more okay right so there we go and what we can do is we can go to the grid view and this time what we're going to do is we are going to select label and you can see at the top here is put all the labeled fours at the top first so it's arranged them by label as opposed to name we can go back to name as well and i however prefer pressing this filter button here and selecting the filter i used which is number one red and that will only show the photos that i selected as opposed to all of them 
once these folders are here you can select them all like this or you can press ctrl and a or command and a to select all and just drag and drop them in a new folder or you can right click and copy if you don't want to move your original and right click and paste in the folder you want them in there we go that's it so these are all your selected photos here and you can delete all the rest if you wanted to so there we go guys i hope this video was helpful i know there are so many people out there with hundreds and thousands of wedding photos that they haven't been able to go through for so long because of the painstaking effort it takes to do this here's a way you can do it very very quickly and for free there's literally so much i want to show you about this software but it's just been released and i haven't had much time to play around with it but i hope this video has been very useful for you and it will save you a lot of time and money having said that if you've got any photography related questions that you want answering then do drop me a comment below and i'll be happy to answer that in a future video going forward and finally i just want to take this time to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel i really really appreciate that thanks again for staying till the end guys and as always i'll catch you in the next one